call to order. Town of Florence, Planning and Zoning Commission, this is a regular meeting. Today's Thursday, March 17th, and now it's 6.01. Ms. Benitez, will you take the roll, please? Commissioner Adam? Here. Commissioner Capolongo? Present. Commissioner Pro? Present. Vice Chair Frost? Present. Chairman Pronzo? Present. We have a quorum. All stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Okay, moving right along. This is a discussion, approval, or disapproval of the minutes of regular meeting conducted on March 3rd, 2022. Open up to the commission for comments editorials <laughs> are you kidding me <laughs> I go drink a beer to this in a year <laughs> that's never happened <laughs> I thought you did a really good job with the minutes because it's a very confusing meeting thank you who's the grammarian that was me really wow okay a force to be reckoned with I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes I'll second. of March 3rd, 2022. So that's a motion by Chairman Pranzo, second by Commissioner Adam. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carried. New business. This is a presentation, a reapproval, reapproval with conditions or denial of a preliminary pad for Freedom Farms parcel A to D. This is PZ 2019. And by the looks of this screen up here, we have a presentation. It'll be a short one just to refresh everyone's minds about this plat since it already came last year. Uh, um, Marcella? Yes. I, this is a very unusual request, but I can't see your mouth, so I can't read your lips. <laughs> okay. Give her something to stand on. <laughs> we just move it up to the side. Stand. Or you can sit at your chair. I don't care. I'll just sit at my chair. I have a screen there. Much better. Yes, it is. Okay. Preliminary plat for Freedom Farms. It was originally approved February 4th, 2021, but they only came back at the end of February to start moving the plat forward, so they missed the date. So they requested for extension, but I thought a reapproval would be just better because they would have a year instead of six months to go forward and get a final plat. So the request was by the WLB group and it is a planned unit development. I provided that PUD to all the commissioners and a paper copy of asked for. It is located south of Judge Road, just south of the Magma Ranch area. And the highlighted parcels on this picture are parcel A through D. Those are the ones they're looking to get approved in this plat. One of the comments that was made in the last was to have this map amended to show the separation between parcel C and D. So that's something I just want to remind the commission and that I remember and I'm taking back for when we're doing the final plot. So the first parcels are A through B. Standard look, we have 98 residential lots in parcel A with 165 lots in parcel B. These lot size ranges fall within what was amended in 2019 in the PUD. And they are medium residential zoning, so they're not your typical low residential single family zoning that you would find maybe in, say, Anthem. 
but they do have a density of 3.6 for parcel A and 4.5 dwelling use per acre for parcel B. Something that was mentioned for, I believe it was parcel B, was that on page 7 and 8, lots 71, 72, 73, and 10 through 16, there is an open space behind those lots, and the engineer, uh, Mr. Longacker at the time, had agreed to take out those spaces and widen those lots so that open space wasn't uh, a hazard, a safety hazard. The next parcels are D and C. When parcel C is 113 residential lots and 1417 for parcel D, they, those lot sizes are also within what's called for in the PUD and the densities as well with the low of 2.7 dwelling units per acre for parcel C and another low density of 3.3 dwelling units per acre parcel D. Now they're also both medium residential so it's the same as parcel A and B. Now that brings a total of 523 lots, which is under what was the maximum number of lots required in the medium um, residential zoning. The combined gross area, 151.36 acres. They meet the necessary open space requirements as well as the minimum setback requirements and lot dimensions. And the combined density is 3.46 dwelling units per acre for all of those parcels. Now the, tenant, the town engineer did look over it again and he did not see anything. Um, he has reviewed and approved the street and width design and layout. With that being said, there were some other comments about hydrant spacing on pages 11, 12, and 31 and that they are to be reviewed and fixed in the future plat as well as there were some specifications that a um, the match line found on page 8 refers to sheet 10 and not sheet 9 like it should. So that's also a comment that I'm going to forward as well when going on to the next plat. And another comment was on future landscaping that only playable areas have turf and not to have tourists for any kind of aesthetics. There was also another comment for the sloping, for the drainage, I believe, the drainage tracks, not to be so sharp. And these were all comments that were agreed on in the last meeting, so these are comments I'm also going to be forwarding when moving to the next plat. With that being said, so staff has the conditions attached, the main one being removal of that open space, which was one of the main conditions that was thrown on the last approval. And if there are any other stipulations, they can be added. So the Planning and Zoning Commission may move to reapprove this plat with the listed conditions or deny the preliminary plat for this Freedom Farms. That is the conclusion of my presentation. Thank you. I'll open up to the commission. Questions, comments? Mr. Chairman, just well, one, one question of staff. Um, their, their letter that's included as part of the packet requests a six-month extension. Right. You can request for an extension, which is six months. That's within our code. Or I just decided a reapproval will be better because an approval means you have a year. Okay. That's a, that's a clarification I wanted. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? <clears throat> no we've, we've had the pleasure of this one before, yeah. but of course our learning curve. <laughs> I'm not sure which way it goes, but our learning curve anyway. <laughs> Are you ready for a motion? I am. Okay. Make a motion for reapproval with conditions as written and as stated in staff presentation this evening of the preliminary plat for Freedom Farms parcels AD. This is PNZ-20-19. Second. We have a motion by Vice Chair Frost, second by Commissioner Capolongo. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carried.
That was easy. Okay. Presentations, information only. Oh, this is one of my favorites. <laughs> I just can't wait to hear about this. <laughs> Grinders update. The Grinder Sports Complex, we do not have any further updates. The group has not moved on anything. So I have no further updates to give you on that project. Is it disappointing? Yes, because we did put a lot of work in to get the amendment passed and to get everyone excited about this sports complex, but I do not have anything to report when it comes to updates. Interesting. I, do we have a town manager yet? We do not. We do not? No. And I would not like to see anything move further with this without a town manager in place. And that's nothing against you, sir. It's just two heads are better than one. No, absolutely. Uh, so I, I'll just add a little bit to that. So Mr. Chairman, Mr. Vice Chairman, and, and the commissioners, uh, absolutely. So we do have Lisa still at the interim town manager and um, while this, these projects, this one specifically has a, a non-disclosure agreement on it, but like Marcella says, we haven't heard anything on that and nothing will, and that's, that's actually what's the guidance right now is these major projects like this, we're, we will sustain them, but moving forward wise, it is the interim town manager's thought process as well as council that, that um, when a new manager's put in and we'll move on some of this stuff. Okay. This one always looked like some quicksand in it for the town, so I'm leery. Okay, no set on that. Um, there seems to be some rumbling in the jungle um, about the fire code, and I'll let Commissioner Adam um, talk about that as long as we're in information only. Yeah, I had had a request um, to revisit the fire code. I think, and that specific request, I know Director Eaton is, is familiar with, but I didn't really want to go there. I'd like to speak from my perspective uh, as a commissioner. When we do this, as everyone knows, code is extremely complicated, and if you don't work with it all the time, um, you know, we are, I am pretty ignorant of it. When you come to us, it's my impression that you're giving us the changes you would like to make to existing, let's, if it's the 2018 code, if you want to make some additional changes to suit Florence. And that's what we hear. And then, but one of the, sorry. Mr. Chairman, we, we might be stepping out of bounds because this is not an agenda item. You might want to just say, can we put this on a next agenda? Oh, I thought so that's what we were talking about. So, so, yeah, so we'll, you just... We'll, 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 I would be we'll willing to just put this on the next okay. agenda. Okay. I'm sorry. sorry. Otherwise, otherwise, we might get into trouble. Adam, I'm going to cut you off. We're simply requesting a review of the fire code for the benefit of the commission, particularly section 3.4 by staff. Um, and we would appreciate the fire chief's participation in that. Okay, we we'll, have a better place to do it than when we're talking about projects that are coming up. Sure, absolutely. We will put that on there. So we'll um, we'll do the research as far as um, what that what you need to do, and then there may be some clarifications. I'll reach out on that. But I, I'm fairly understanding of what is going to be expected on that. So we'll we'll put that on the list of the next agenda, and we'll be preparing some. Thank you, sir, and thank you. You were right. Okay. Moving right along. We are moving right along. Grinders was the only thing there, right? Right. I do have some future agenda items to give some updates on, though. When it comes to the general plan, we have our first public hearing, April 2nd, F7th, April 7th. It's going to be in the community center because state statute requires we have the, one of the public hearings outside of town hall space. So we'll be in the community center. There will be also an item for another preliminary plat, Walker Butte. I will make sure to attach that PUD. And I'll also add that 
the fire review to that agenda. And then in addition, April 21st, we will have another public hearing, the second one, but it will be back here in town hall for the general plan. And on April 21st, I will also be having a conditional use permit, hopefully coming to the commission for a storage facility out near Anthem. Is that it? That was, that's it. Okay. Well, at least we have agenda <clears throat> items. <clears throat> All right. Um, we'll call it a public. Do we have any public? Don't everybody get up at once. Mm. Mm. Okay, then I'll close call to the public. Call to the commission, current events only. I have a current event. Mm. For you buckaroos in the audience, we have rodeo on Saturday. Mm. Um, it's a ranch rodeo. That's the local ranches. It's a lot of fun. Come out and enjoy our rodeo ground. That's my thunder. Anyone else? Along that line, uh, I think tomorrow night is our third Friday, right? It's been really cooking on Main Street, so if anybody is in town, come on out. And I know, I think 10th and Main is playing. And tomorrow we also have a, a big store opening. We had one today with, um, what's her name? I forgot. Oh, God. I well, that, the um, vintage store opened today, and tomorrow, Arizona Flower Girl opens at 4 o'clock is the ribbon cutting. Awesome. So, lots of stuff going on Main Street. Hmm. Yeah. Anyone else? Okay, then I will call, close call to the commission. Your favorite part of mine. May I have a motion? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? I will second. Okay. <laughs> we have a motion by Commissioner Capolongo, second by Vice Chair Frost. This is for a giant adjournment, folks. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion.